Greetings and welcome to our Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics that relate to the appeal process of Robert Sylvester Kelly in both the Brooklyn Appeal and Chicago trial. You are now listening to the August podcast because it's all about us in August. Today is August the 5th. The countdown for the Chicago trial is moving close. So I hope uh, you guys are keeping up with the information so you'll be in the know. And uh, you'll be able to make your own observational conclusions from the information that is being given to you. Um, the countdown for the Chicago trial is moving close. Hope everyone on R. Kelly Appeal TV is sending love to the energy of Robert Sylvester Kelly, that he has the ability to stay strong during this time. We will be live this Sunday, the 7th at 6 p.m. to just check in on everyone. I'm going to try that live again and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Now today, I want to share something with you that you already may very well know. Laws are made daily. They're called torts. And in the legal system, something in one state may be illegal in another state for its own reason. Not a defense in the court of law. So being naive to a law is nothing short of a life sentence today. So know that you know and just focus on the moral fabrics of what is correct in society. What is the right thing to do? What is the next right thing? Now, if we do this, we'll be able to understand the process and we can sort of feel our way through the mores in other locations. When you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. You don't go, and this is what we were taught at a young age. When you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do um, and you don't deviate from what you see others doing. Okay, ignorance is not a defense. And um, so I want to talk about Robert Sylvester Kelly today. And, you know, what's on my heart, you know, every morning I wake up with a different song in my mind. And the day, today I woke up with the song, Been Around the World. And since we're talking about mores and laws and, and you know, areas that sort of make life what it is, being all over the world is very, very important right now. You know, Robert Sylvester Kelly has been around the world and he got nothing but love. He thanked his father, his heavenly father up above as an appreciation that he came back. He was able to make it there and come back and tell the story regardless of those who showed hate for who he was. Let me get these lyrics on, been around the world. Okay. I've been around the world and gets nothing but love for who I am. I thank my fans so much. Even though some may hate, still I appreciate all my friends and family that kept it real with me. I've been around the world and back like, what up? East side to west side touring, like, what up? And even though the price for the house was so much, I still roll with them from the hood, like, what up? Because when it comes to being the realest, I'm sure enough. I'm a straight up industry villain for sure enough. And I can't satisfy some of y'all no matter what. And some of y'all cats are so jealous. Said we living in a cold, cold world. Ain't nothing but fake faces, fake people, fake friends. Said we living in a cold, cold world where there ain't nothing but envy, wannabes, player haters. Yeah, I know I need a hug, but y'all need a hug too. Cause God gonna judge me the same day he judges you. And even though we have our struggles, that's all right. You know, we got our folks and find a way to shine. I've been around the world and gets nothing but love for who I am. I thank my fans so much. Even though some may hate, still I appreciate all my friends and family that kept it real with me. 
Sometimes this world can be so cold when you looking through the windows of your soul. I've been looking to see the truth as it unfolds because I've been around the, this globe and back enough to know the fact who loves me and who loves me not. We be shit so hot. You could put it in red tops and pump it through every hood, ghetto, and block until they hurt, until they heart stops. That's why they, that's why they fiend for me. And I thank you for every blessing that you're giving me, Lord. And I'm grateful for all my talent and my vocal accords. And all those haters, I keep shaking them off, rubbing their face in fame. I'm sorry I changed the game, but it's mine and I can't complain. Rule and R. Kelly been around the world, putting it on women, bumping and grinding these. But we always on time when a woman fed up and that's love. That's why they mess with us. So... I want to leave that with you because when you go around the world, you get love. Then that's when you can say in your heart that you know that life is working. You're in the place you're supposed to be. If you ain't getting that love, you got to move yourself from your circle. And I was reading something the other day that said, your friends will either be your circle or your cell. It'll, it'll circle you either way. So you better know who you rocking with. You got to know who you're rocking with. So with that, I just want to just, just give a, a shot of inspiration to you and let you know that we all going through it, waiting on the Kelly's, you know, pre-trial and, and the trial starting. And it's just a lot. It's a lot, but check in on your emotions. Make sure you feeling all right. You know, make sure you are right, because that's what it that's what it really boils down to. It boils down to that. So this fabric, this moral fabric that we have to follow in this society, please be aware of. Stay awake because the laws are being changed daily, maybe minute by minute. One minute, the law says this. You look it up and it's a tort and the law is there. And then the next hour, it could change one sentence can change the whole dynamic. So be careful for nothing. Like God bless our sister too, uh, Mrs. Brittany Griner. You know, she apologized and she pled guilty for the bringing in of cannabis oil that she that was legal in America, but in Russia, it wasn't. So she apologized and, and you know, that's why I say I'm grateful for my recovery today. If even alcohol will become a uh, law where you can no longer drink alcohol, some people would just go straight ballistic. Mm-hmm. You know how they overturn the Roe versus Wade law? And at one point it was okay to have an abortion and now it's not. Well, guess what? What if they were the powers that be? How, where would you be right now if the powers that be stopped, well, created a law that said alcohol is illegal? Whoa. Now how many of us would be incarcerated? Just on the premise that we can't stop drinking because we're addicted to it because we've done it for so many times. So these are things that I, you know, I'm not here to preach. I'm, I'm just here to lay something on your mind, a remnant that, you know, this song, Been Around the World, put into my, my heart space for, for someone who may need this message today. And it is me because I listen to my own messages every day. You know what I mean? I listen to them. And it's like, you know, me and R. Kelly have this mental telepathy thing where through his music and and through the people who love him that I've been connected to, like Timothy Flowers, like Galatians, Anna Mae, Carla McWilliams, um, Ray Johnson, all of the powerful people in my circle right now that empowers me to keep going through these motion readings and things like that when my voice is cracking you know what I mean I still keep going because I know that I cannot I am to help my brother and my sister I am not to hold this information and not be able to share it so with that I thank you so much for being here 
I thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to this video and this podcast. This this August is all about us. We're in the first week already within like like a flash of a lightning, like click is there. We only have one more week almost to get ready and prepared for, you know, what's going to go down, but just keep the faith. And with that, thank you. And as always, keep it 100 and we will see you next time.